Hello everybody and welcome to another toy review. In today's video, thanks to the team over at Gundammit, that's the sister site of Shozy, we're taking a look at the latest offering from Mosho Toys. This is the Noble Class 15 and up, MCT AP02FA. Yeah, basically, uh, their kind of take on Gundam style mecha. I've reviewed ones like this in the past and this one well I wanted it it looks absolutely gorgeous uh, so put the order in and it's arrived so take a quick look around the box exactly what you would expect from these oh, just these are made so well they really are I don't have my mechanical chain bases anymore but these looked sensational when you used to kind of put them all around all of them engineering that sort of thing i mean the vexed hobby works really nicely with them as well but yeah the mechanical chain bases they work exceptionally well with these anyway let's crack it open as you would expect with these products they all come packaged in these heavy duty plastic clamshells to keep everything locked into position so nothing gets damaged ah my goodness me i don't think i've ever had one of these with quite so many accessories and we get a lot <laughs> uh, we get the booster section which fits on the back uh, this actually comes apart and we've got space in here for batteries so the batteries uh, light up uh, these are AG13s that this takes uh, we also need AG1s in the head and we'll need more AG13s in these shoulder sections. This piece here pops out like so. We put our batteries in there. So we've got two of the shoulders. We've got the launchers for the back. We get these magnetic sword stands because we get a huge magnetic base to display our figures on absolutely love that we get these uh, firing rods they attach on the arms but we also get the ability to have them come firing out of those wrists and they can kind of turn into pincer like weapons uh, very much kind of like scorpion from Mortal Kombat we've got some bladed wings there we've got a truly magnificent sword which also opens up like so and there's these individual blade sections that come out uh, very much like uh, katanas that sort of style uh, we have various different brackets which allow us to attach these weapons to our mech in various different forms including extra pieces for the backpacks, we've got these little extra blades. Uh, we get two of these really gorgeous guns. Adore the levels of detailing on these. Everything looks sensational. Paint applications are sublime. Build quality is kind of second to none. These are built to last very, very, very high end pieces of kit. Really do love what they've done here. And we get a plethora of hands. Get open palms, gripping hands, gripped fists, tightly clenched, kind of gun holding hands, trigger finger hands, and of course, what we get for one hand, we also get for the other. Honestly, can't wait to get this guy set up. Last but by no means least, we get this little mystery box, which contains 
our rods to use for our support and our weapons. So now these would launch from the wrists, place in here like so, and then that could be firing at different angles as well. Wonderful. And here we have him out of his plastic prison, all kind of kitted up. I've tried to get as much on him as I can, and it looks sensational. Really kind of reminds me of Pat Labor. I don't know if uh, I'm just showing my age, but it's sensational. The build quality is second to none. These are made to last, incredibly robust. The articulation on these is insane as well. They've got an exoskeleton within amongst all of this and everything moves as it should. I've kind of got his sword split into two, mounted on that jet thruster. The cannons are mounted up over on his shoulder. We've got some hidden knives in amongst his thighs as well. There's also a couple of little uh, pegs on those hip skirts. So if you choose to have those swords split like I have on the back there. They can drop down and kind of sit as sheaths on his hip skirts, which I think is really nice. The options for these are incredible. Actually almost very tempted to get a couple of extras of these, uh, save up and uh, kind of army build them. So we've almost got like, I don't know, like Pat Labor, I guess, like my own kind of police force. So these can be brought in and kind of fight off and then they bring in these different variations of upgrades but oh, this thing looks and feels incredible. Now on top of everything we've got going on here unfortunately I couldn't get most of my batteries to work. I have like the worst luck when it comes to batteries. Uh, this one however does work so we've got uh, a little tab on the top here which we push in and that lights up that part of the backpack section as you see we've got uh, three different variations of tabs we've got tabs here tabs there and tabs underneath where the wings can be put you can put those in any order or you don't have to have them on there at all uh, this whole backpack section removes and there's a plug so you just pop that in uh, these can be removed lift this up slide these out like so and we've then got a nice little rifle. Which can be used uh, in any of the gripping hands. And as I previously mentioned, obviously we've got the ability to move these sections on the arms. These can then come out. You can have the wire thread come out so it looks like he's ejecting them but we also get small little blades and then he's got a couple of daggers that we can slot in as well so let's bring in one of these hands like so look at that or i wonder if we could go from the underside like that see that looks that looks sensational, doesn't it? Uh, again, show you how this works. It's spring loaded. So this comes out and look at that. A nice section just comes up. That is fantastic. I absolutely adore kind of like the automorph features that this mech has to offer. The hands just clip on and into place sensational. I think one of the things that sets this aside from other figures is just that versatility. 
and those different options. I and mean, we don't even need to need, we don't even need the shoulder pads on. Everything is versatile. Everything can be chopped and changed. I could bring in the wings, for example, and have those over on those shoulder sections. So much going on. I love the fact that everything can just be placed in and out. I mean, if you want a nice, clean, tidy back, we have a peg for that as well. So just make sure that the tab lines up and push and tab. There we go, look, really pristine, clean back. And this thing is jam packed with articulation. Uh, let's just move the arm out of the way so we can see exactly what we're getting here. Uh, the head can look up, down, left and right, tilt side to side. The neck itself is on an additional hinge as well, so it can move up and down there. We have a butterfly joint on the shoulders, which bring them forwards and backwards. The shoulders themselves can come up and down. Shoulder pads are independent to the rest as well, so they've actually got their own pivot on the top of the shoulder. There's an upper bicep rotation there is a double jointed bend on these elbows. So the arms can come all the way up to the front there. There's an additional rotation in the inner forearm. We get rotation, a pivot, and a bend on those wrists, making it incredibly natural. Uh, these sections here can be detached and can be placed back on. So again, we can move different sections and place them where we want to. We get an abdominal crunch in here. Love that kind of piston driven side to side. Front, all the way down. You see the crotch move with that? And all the way back, watch those pistons again. Look at those, they can press down and back. Oh, absolutely adore it. Uh, hip skirts to the side rear and front allow for legs to come this far out upper thigh rotation in there as well rock up and down so we can bring the leg forward to get that additional range on the big high kick or backwards to get the range going backwards you can set it slightly further back so you can stagger the pose we get not one but two bends on those knees, allowing that to come all the way up. Very natural looking knee pads again, and everything kind of auto morphs as the shins compress. See that kind of piston driven back section there working as we bring that inwards and outwards. Really impressed by it. So you've got the motion on that crotch. And coming down to the lower legs, we've got tilt left and right on those ankles. We've got some up and down on those toes. And we can bring the foot forwards and backwards as well, left and right. So these are incredibly articulated bots. They're just so versatile. And being such a well-balanced, well-constructed figure as well, look at that. Got it in kind of a leaning, dipping, charging forward pose. And there is no stability issues there whatsoever. That's crazy. And of course, for any of you that have any doubts, uh, we can use that stand to get some really nice flight poses. Or he has magnets on the base of his feet so he instantly sticks to that large magnetic base as well. So there's never gonna be the fear of him falling or toppling in your display. Just to give you a quick idea of how these figures scale, have Hellboy to hand, still one of my favorite figures of the year thus far. It gives you that kind of scale. So it is a good sized figure. I, I really think these would look absolutely sensational with some of the kind of micronauts, kind of that Microman, small, almost like Manta Force size figures. I think those would work exceptionally well with these, these being kind of giant piloted mechs. And here we have him alongside X-Transbots, Ultra Magnus, the toy 
color variation. So as you can see, it's a very good size figure. You get a lot of bot for your buck. If you find these videos useful, why not head over to Shozi or Gundammit using the link in the description below. Before you make that purchase, head up to the top of the page on the support your favorite reviewer tab and type in Ben's. That'll help support the channel and keep these reviews coming. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the latest offering from Mosho and my goodness me, they have delivered absolutely adore this piece so much nostalgia kind of seeping through it. it's even got kind of the astro megazord color scheme as well doesn't it so there's just a huge hybrid of gundam papabore megazords everything kind of works and the end result is a phenomenal mech that can be armed to the teeth can pull off pretty much any pose and can be the center display piece in any collection Thanks again to the team over at Gundamit and Shozi. If you do decide to purchase this item, don't forget to go through to the site and use the influencer code, which will help build these channels. And until next time, myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all very much for watching.